and the taste will be more authentic. Yeah. yeah. Korea is one of the most sophisticated markets in the world. Why did you choose Korea as the headquarters for Asia? I'm <laughs> 어떤 회사인지 궁금하지 않으신가요? 카페에서 일한 경험이 있으신 분들이라면 한 번쯤은 이 실업 이용해 보신 적 있지 않으신가요? 저도 뉴질랜드에서 일했던 카페들 중에 반 이상이 이샷 실업을 썼었던 기억이 나는데요. 이렇게 유명한 샷 베버리즈스가 사실은 뉴질랜드 웰링턴의 공장과 본사를 둔 아주 큰 기업이더라고요. 이 회사는 주로 커피 실업과 과일 베이스를 만드는 전문 음료 회사라고 합니다. 또 뉴질랜드뿐만 아니라 호주, 미국, 한국 등을 포함해서 전 세계 20여 개국에서 사업을 펼치고 있는 글로벌 기업이라고 합니다. 오늘 준공식이 특별한 이유가 몇 가지가 있는데요. 먼저 샷 제2 공장은 실험만 단일로 생산하는 공장으로는 세계 최대 규모인데다가 모든 시스템이 자동화가 되어 있어서 효율적이고 위생적인 생산이 가능하다고 합니다. 또 가장 중요한 거. 바로 한국을 포함한 아시아 수출 물량이 바로 이 공장에서 직접 생산이 된다고 하는데요. 조금 있다가 방진복 같은 걸 입고 공장에 직접 들어가 볼 수도 있을 것 같아서 너무 기대가 됩니다. 여러분, 청정 뉴질랜드에서 청정 원료로 만든 시럽 맛볼 준비 되셨나요? 아이 used to work as a bartender and I haven't used thank you. I haven't used shot syrup for making alcohol. So you, yeah, so is it famous for alcohol as well? I think it's starting to become a little bit oh, more famous. Okay. Uh, and the taste will be more authentic. Yeah, and yeah. less mess because, you know, we're literally just using yeah. lime juice. That's very cool. <laughs> Very, very different to a normal manufacturer of syrups. Normal syrups are actually uh, sugar, water, flavour, and help. Help plant actually deal with real fruits and pots. So, what I'm going to show you today is we're actually going to walk up and actually have a look at what we actually do. We believe consumer sentiment is actually working towards that sort of style of manufacturing where they actually don't want colours, flavours, artificial ingredients. So, every one of our bats we're naming after one of our major markets. Korea was our number one. Market was the first international market the business actually went to. Gave us confidence to actually move forward. My name is Rodden Christie, I'm your MC for the, for the afternoon. To celebrate the official opening of Shop Beverage's wonderful new export production facility, it's now my pleasure to welcome Andrew, the chairman of Shop Beverages, to the stage. Shop's the story of a small New Zealand domestic business, even though the global billion US dollar category it operates in was dominated by two European and three American big and quite scary companies. The product we produced was superior to all our competitors. Not only that, but the value add was such that it could be exported profitably and to sufficient markets to enable us to reach critical mass in the global sense. So after our group became involved in the business building on Tami's legacy, we planned for the journey that was to repair shot to be a globally significant competitor. The opening of this plant, which will treble current production capacity, is a key step in that journey. You will all receive a limited edition bottle uh, of this product when you leave, together with a bag of hot chocolate, which is our latest product. I should add that this hot chocolate powder range is the first product of over 
100 products in seven years of our blind paddle testing, which we do for all new products, to ever receive 100% selection against all competing products. I promise you, it is that good. And we look forward to sharing the journey with you. Thank you. So it's now my huge pleasure to please introduce David Shearer to the stage. So Shot's got two brands, um, Shot and Quarter Past. Our product, we won't use heat. Heat kills all the nutraceutical value and the natural flavours within the fruit. We've, as of two months ago, received FDA approval in the United States to actually sell to the United States that our product was safe to consume even though we didn't use heat. We supply everyone from Starbucks Reserve and their exact reason for using Shop is because they wanted something better than their standard Starbucks. This is where I'll go into the Korean market. We started in the Korean market. Korea is one of the most sophisticated markets in the world, so in other words, they're happy to trade relatively quickly, but they have a lot of the nuances around respect of those markets. So it's an amazing market. If we didn't go to Korea first, you never know what, how the story could have changed. We have a team now based in Korea, um, and they look after our entire Asian market, and it's been a, a real success story for us because of um, that market. So thank you everyone for joining. Um, she's got a situation in front of her and her leadership is going to be very important for us all. And have a good afternoon. See you later. Hi there. Apologies. No worries. It's the composition, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. The Shop Asia headquarters is in Seoul. Yes. Why did you choose Korea as the headquarters for Asia? So the K Korean market initially was because Korea has a higher coffee consumption per capita than oh. anywhere in the world. And half of our business is coffee syrups and the other half is fruit syrups. What I like about Korea is it's, it's a very respectful market that's very sophisticated. Oh, you know, it's, okay. it's a beautiful market. You know, yeah. you know, everyone dresses beautifully. So really strong coffee market and Korean consumers seem to really enjoy trying new things. Yeah. A lot of Korean trade shows the rest of Asia goes to and follow the leads that are happening in Korea. Oh. So we almost see Korea as a lead. Oh, that's good. Thanks. What progress is happening in the Asian market during the COVID-19 pandemic? We actually ended up doing quite well because Singapore, Vietnam and Korea, which are three of our bigger Asian markets, actually handled COVID really, really well. Um, mm -hmm. So it's kind of like that's the good. last man standing yeah. at the moment. So yeah. What is your favorite flavor of quarter past syrup and what is it best used for? <laughs> I, I got two. So um, vanilla for me, uh, like we use proper vanilla essence, it's mm -hmm. beautiful. For um, coffee? Yeah, just in a coffee. Yeah. So uh, like traditional vanilla latte, sometimes with cream on top, yeah. <laughs> if you want to be naughty. But um, And then the other one is we have the quarter past lemon, ginger and honey. For me, I don't like syrups being overly sweet at the end. Mm -hmm. I like them to be crisp and tart notes and you get a lot more complexity mm -hmm. in them. But if you've got a cold or, or you're feeling under the weather, yeah. You know, you don't want caffeine, you I don't know. want coffee. Yeah. It's the perfect drink for that sort of situation. Oh, yeah. So those are my two. Favorites. I should try it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for today. No Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> 여러분 저는 이제 행사를 마치고 집에 돌아왔는데요. 뉴질랜드는 지금 겨울이라서 밖이 좀 춥고 또 비가 추적추적 내리고 있는 그런 상황이에요. 그래서 몸을 좀 따뜻하게 할겸 이렇게 예쁜 유리잔에 쿼터페스트에서 나온 이 시럽들로 티를 만들어 보려고 좀 준비를 해봤습니다. 또 그리고 조금 있다가 영상을 편집할 때는 또 커피를 마시면서 해야 되기 때문에 아까 데이비드 시윤님이 추천해주신 바닐라 라떼도 한번 만들어서 먹어보도록 하겠습니다. 지금 만들려고 하는 거는 히비스커스 진저 앤 마누카 허니 시럽으로 만드는 티입니다. 쿼터페스트라는 브랜드가 뉴질랜드 내에서 카페에서도 쉽게 볼수 있고 가정용으로도 많이 나와서 그냥 마트에서 사다가 이렇게 집에서 만들어 먹는 차도 유명해요. 제가 한세님처럼 전문 홈카페 장인이 아니어서 좀 촬영을 잘 못하는 것 같지만 여튼 조금 있다가 이 친구도 한번 만들어 먹어보려고 하는데 오 향이 진짜 진해요 그리고 펄프가 보이는 게 실제 과일을 이용해서 만드는 거라고 하니까 아무 유화제나 뭐 인공향료, 인공색소 이런 것들이 안 들어가다 보니까 약간 프리미엄 과일 액상차로 좀잘 알려져 있어요 이 코터페스트가 청정 뉴질랜드에서 엄선된 원재료로 만들어져 가지고 되게 믿고 먹을 수 있는 샷의 대표 브랜드입니다. 
아 오늘 이렇게 샵 베버리즈 제2 공장 중공식에 와서 이렇게 맛있는 음료수도 맛보고 실제로 쿼터페스트 시럽들이 어떻게 제조가 되는지 그 공장도 직접 보니까 너무 재밌었습니다. 여러분도 쿼터페스트 시럽 가지고 맛있는 홈카페 음료 만들어 드셔보시길 바랍니다. 그럼 저는 다음 영상에서 만나요. 안녕. Go. You're too fast. <웃음> What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for just in the Prime Minister of New Zealand. <laughs>